Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at some side control specifics, both on the top and the bottom, and just picking out a few of the most interesting different points that we can come across. Let's get into it. So already you can see got my frames inside, a bit of a scramble, some interesting back take positions, but you can see I'm trying to keep my hips away from his hips. That's the main goal here. You see, the further my hips get away, the more I can start to wriggle out. And now it's just a case of keeping my arms safe and straight away going on the counter attack. This is something I always try and focus on in the specific training. You get a lot, a lot of opportunities to practice your escapes, but you have to always make sure to try and change that into attack straight away, otherwise you end up defending the whole time. This is actually from a couple of years ago, this footage from when I was training in Dublin, teaching some classes up there. And now you can see already, got my frames inside, got my butterfly hooks back in, and now I'm defending the guard. You can see we're not going at a super high intensity. We're still kind of warming up, really. And again, this is the way I like to train the specifics. Build it up as you go. And it's a good opportunity. You can see we're both playing a very open game. We're trying to figure out different positions, different attacks and defenses. Because you go back to the same position straight away again. You know, you don't want to be wasting time. Just squeezing, holding on. So you can see here now, trying to get my inside. You see how I got my inside frame there? This is a really useful grip. I can start to off balance him, frame, get my underhook and my legs back in front. You can see I get lazy here. I'm kind of in half minds. Oh, I'm finished. I'm escaped. And he jumps on the front headlock. Okay. But again, it's no problem in the specific training. This is great for me. I get to practice my defense, trying to keep my elbow open, using my legs to assist. And now see, I'm able to switch back to the other side. So his anaconda choke is very weak here with my shoulders down. He wants my shoulder facing up. I want it the other way. And again, here's another great example. Getting straight back to attacking the legs. Control his hip, control his heel, and get the finish. <laughs> now the roles are reversed. I'm on top. And you can see I don't lock my hands very much when I'm using the side control specifics because I want to try and practice controlling the position with just my, my body, my own positioning. And basically, if I can do it effortlessly in the training, then when I actually add a bit more effort in the role, it should be easier. And here, getting on the headlock, the anaconda wasn't really working for me, so I switched back to the dars. And here, crunching up for the finish. It's very hard for him to open his elbow there because basically me and the floor is in the way. So it's actually quite an easy finish when you're lying on your back like that. We're back here, and here's another good example. I'm not really locking my hands, squeezing. The idea in the side control really is to control with your natural body weight and keep as much mobility as you can for yourself. Keeping some heavy shoulder pressure here. You can see the less area my shoulder is actually taken up, the more pressure he'll feel. And he was forced to bring the arm across the body, and I'm taking his back. I'm a bit lazy here controlling his shoulder. I don't really know why. But you can see he does a great job freeing his shoulder, starting to turn. And now he can start to wriggle his hips free and escape the position. Okay, but keep an eye out for that. If we end up back on the back later on, I'm sure I'll be ready to learn from that mistake and control the shoulders better. So we're back again, keeping the pressure, sprawling the hips out, add a bit more pressure. And now I'm trying to isolate the arm here at my leg. So bring my arm over his head as a decoy. He, I know he's going to frame it, and that lets me get my head in between his elbow and his body here. And once you have something like that, the elbow away from the body, you always want to keep it there. Once you take something like that from someone, you don't want to let them have it back. Okay, so I frame, pushing up. The, the arm triangle choke is there. But again, I'm trying to focus on back attacks here because I have EBI coming up actually at this time. So I'm trying to focus on taking the back, getting the finish. And you can see this time, land on the back, control the shoulders, and have a lot more urgency to try and avoid that escape that he had earlier. Okay. And now at this stage, I notice there's only a few seconds left, so I'm going to create a lot of movement here with the knee and belly and try and get one more headlock opportunity. Okay, you can see I'm in a bit of a rush. I telegraphed it a lot, and he controls my wrist as I go. Now he's able to escape and to actually turn the tables on me. Okay, but it's no problem. I go back to similar defense to earlier, roll through, and you can see again, I'm able to come on top with a nice little tricky escape there. Okay, so it's good to keep that open mindset when you're doing the specific training. If I had just stopped there at that point, I would have actually missed out on practicing those different defenses and different attacks. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
And if you're interested in any of the other stuff I'm putting out, I'll put links in the description to both the podcast and also a new Patreon site that I just started for anyone who wants to take their game to the next level. And basically with the Patreon, each week I'll be putting out a long-form video lesson with different topics each month. So the first month is based around leg locks. There's already a few great videos up there. So anyone who wants to take their game to the next level, you can check that out and let me know how you get on with it. I'll also be putting out a lot more YouTube content in the near future and some sneak peeks of what's going on on the Patreon side of things, as well as more commentary videos like this. So I'll see you guys for the next one. I'd be more annoyed with my defenders and my goalkeeper than, than Thierry Henry.